here, aka the Remote Job Coach. I am here with another ChatGPT tutorial. Who's excited for ChatGPT tutorials? Um, I'm getting a little bit lucid because I've been doing a bunch of these in a row, so hopefully I'm still making sense. Today we're going to talk in this video about answering interview questions with ChatGPT. I'm going to give you a few ideas, and as I've talked about in every single one of these tutorial videos, which you can find here, what you give ChatGPT, the, the level of context that you provide for ChatGPT is going to relate to the quality of output that you get. So, in order to do that and talk about interview questions, a few of the things that I hear from people that they get really concerned about going into interviews is one, what are the interview questions going to be? Two, how do I answer the interview questions in a concise way that does well, right? So we're going to talk about those two things. And we're going to start with a few questions that a lot of people want to know, right? One of those is, how do I answer the question? Tell me about yourself. So you can use ChatGPT as an advice giver for how to answer very general questions, right? One that you might hear on almost every single interview is the tell me about yourself. It's like right at the beginning, you're getting to know the person, chit chat, and it's like, well, tell me a little bit more about yourself. There are some ways to answer that that are really effective. I am not of the mindset that you should listen to every single thing that ChatGPT says. You should take what I say, take what ChatGPT says, take what other people say, and use those things to feel into what resonates for you and use the best of all those worlds. So don't just take my advice, don't just take ChatGPT's advice, take your own advice based on what you hear and what feels good. However, in this, when it tells you about this particular answer, it gives you an example, which I think is good, and it also gives you little tips. Hey, it's important to tailor to the specific company, the role that you're interviewing for, which I absolutely, absolutely agree with. And there's different formats and ways that you can answer a question like this, but I just wanna show that you can ask ChatGPT about, hey, like, what? how do you answer this question? You can almost ask it like you're asking Google, but the nice part about ChatGPT is you don't have to restart your search every time. There's a continuity to this conversation that you're having with artificial intelligence. And the thought is, is that it kind of builds upon itself and it remembers certain things that you say previously. So we can ask that question. We can ask about the current comp, like leaving my current company. You might also add more details. You might say, hey, I'm leaving my current company because of this reason. And I'm nervous about what I should say for this particular question. For the tell me about yourself, you might give it an intro statement. In the resume tutorial, which I talked about a couple videos back, um, there is a recommendation that I have that you build out a base prompt for ChatGPT that basically outlines your entire life story as a career, right? All the things you've done in your career. It's almost like a resume, but it's something in a conversational format that you can always input into ChatGPT and just save that into a Google Doc. Because if you always have that on hand, you can use that as the initial thing and say, hey, this is a little bit more about me. Can you tell me about how you'd answer this question? Tell me about yourself. So again, the more that you give it, the better. The less you give it like this, the more general the advice is going to be, okay? So there's a nice a nice thing is that it gives you some examples to this particular question as well, but let's move on. One of the things I wanted to know was, hey, let's say that I'm a project manager in the tech industry for a mid-sized company. What are the top questions that hiring managers are going to ask me? And then it's going to give me all of these uh, potential questions, which I think is just a really good place to start. You can also say, hey, I'm I'm... Uh, you could paste an entire job description, right? Go out and get an entire job description, put that in here and say, what questions would a hiring manager ask f to a person who was was uh, interviewing for this job? And now you can get that list of questions and then you can ask ChatGPT, hey, here's me, put in your stuff and say, um, how would how would I, how should I answer this based on my information? So the level of customization that you could do is truly off the charts. Like having that job, having a job description, having that little uh, paragraph section about yourself or those few paragraphs about yourself is super helpful. And then you're just basically combining things and subtracting things and experimenting until you get what it is that you need. Now it gave me these particular. Uh, questions. And then what I did was I said, hey, based on my resume, can you give me answers for each of the twelve, the 10 questions? So it's like, hey, customize the answers to me based on these experiences. And then it went ahead and gave me, uh, it gave me nine out of the 10, unfortunately, not all 10. So you can, you can do it one at a time, or you can do one thing about ChatGPT that I've been noticing is that 
because there's so many people utilizing it right now, the capacity it has sometimes to be able to do longer prompts and queries, uh, it, it just shuts off sometimes or it times out. So it might get to the nine out of the 10 and then it might just be overwhelmed with all the other you know queries and models that are running that it will shut you out. So you might wanna take them one at a time or if it doesn't give you all those things, I might go back in and I might look at what that 10th question was and say, hey, can you do this one as well? So then it gives me the question and the answer says, project manager, I've successfully led cross-functional teams in delivering complex projects on time and budget. My experience has taught me how to effectively communicate and collaborate with stakeholders to ensure project success. What I love about the answers that it's giving is that they're really concise. And that's one thing you can do is you can elaborate. You can say, hey, for answer number one, can you add in this metric about this? Hey, for number two, can you add in a small story about this? And that's where it really gets interesting is that these just become the templated starting points for your answers, you definitely want to read these aloud. You definitely want to customize them even more with metrics and with very intentional stories, right? Answering questions is much more about internalizing your stories rather than trying to think of all the questions. The questions are a good place to start because they give you ideas. But what's more important is how do I go in there and look at this and come out with a multi-purpose story that I could now use for multiple questions? Okay, so a lot of different things, a lot of different ideas. I just want this to be a starting point for how you can actually leverage this thing to answer interview questions because a lot of people don't even know that this is available to them and that this can help them out. So do what you can with it right now. Make sure you watch all the rest of the tutorials and keep wondering. You're not lost.